I said we got a wolf lover poetry reading. This is to every single one of you wolf lovers out there. We got a little wolf poetry reading. A wolf lover poetry reading. Today is the 4th of July, which means it's the first day that the Americans conquered the Indians and you pour it all over the fucking wolves. <laughs> uh, cowboy guns into the sky with the, uh, with the cowboy guns. With this piece of paper is a mail. Give it to the wolves. Sounds like we got some 4th of July action going on. We're giving it all to the wolves. This is from... Stephen Newell. I can't believe this is bullshit right now. But we are all happy to be Americans today. And standing and typing on a typewriter is a good way to document ideas. Standing helps the energy in your body flow a lot better. Typewriting is a good way to write words because it makes a lot of damn noise. How the typewriter works is hard to say. Whoa! The Charlie chocolate bed is the ultimate form of poverty. Three months sleeping next to each other, typing next to each other, and a bystander that is jumping in when needed and joining in on everything that the journey of the three is creating with their octopus arms that are black and are long and have tiny little suckers at the end of them that will pull in inspiration from all sources. There are clouds of alcohol in space that will create trillions of three trillions pints of beer. <clears throat> you hear that, you bitch? We can also use this fuel to power our ships, to travel to other planets, which is important for our, ev for our evolution, to the greys, or the interdimensional beings that we were born from. This power is not important to us because we need to create life or determine the fate of lesser beings is important because I don't want us to die as a species. Giving as much of it to the wolves as we can. We may have been created to make gold, but that is unique to us. Maybe us dying off is fine because we are not the ones born to survive and mediate in a way, but we are a clever species and the art we make is beautiful and important to us. Give it to the wolves. Our earth cannot sustain us as we are in our current population. Population, population is a huge problem. We are close to embracing technology and then being able to no longer need the earth as we currently do. Important thing is you give it to the wolves. Jake has this huge childhood problem where he needs to hit people in the back. He grits his teeth and slaps with his hand. He doesn't hit hard but, but does say that you got a good hitting shirt on. You fucking pour it on the wolves. They're crushing cute centers. Red, we need to do something inside of red. I need to make a logo for a metal band. I'm returning to the darkness to create a symbol for evil to live inside. I have no idea how this typewriter works. And that mystery is probably bad for my writing. I hope the typewriter does not turn my story into a stupid fucking piece of shit that's fucking so stupid and fucking terrible that every fucking st stupid fucking writer will say that it's not fucking writing then they will make a movie about how everyone hated my terrible shit garbage and how it was so fucked for everyone and not worth a fuck hey everybody you know what you do on the websites you give it to the wolves Brendan is revisiting the old mines to look for docile slimes for an adhesive that will allow his machine to grip his tools. If his sticky pistons work, he will use them to hide the exit of his as large as possible pyramid of fire. And that was a letter from...
Stephen Newell writing from Anchorage, Alaska. Stephen Newell, you're a great wolf fan, and I hope you keep riding the wolves because we love to have you on your show. I said we got a wolf lover poetry reading. Oh, 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 oh. So, you, yeah. should, you should be honored. What do we, uh... So what's next? Do you have a cigarette? Yeah. All the men that you see entering these frames, they're my slaves. And I do, uh, whatever I need. To. Sometimes they put bottles in my mouth. They, uh, tell me when to brush my teeth. Most of the times they provide me with cigarettes I don't know I don't know if cigarettes is what she wanted I don't even know who wants cigarettes anymore it's just a bunch of screaming how many times have you gone online like what are you doing online what kind of web pages are you looking at Well, what kind of web pages are you looking at? Who are all these people that are going online? How long have you been online before? And nobody's answering anybody's questions because it's the closest they